Cool. Uh, 398, random pick index. Uh, given an array of integers with possible duplicates, randomly output the index of a given target number. You can assume that the given target number must exist in an array. Uh, hmm? The array size can be very large. Solution that uses too much extra space will not pass to judge. Okay. But <clears throat> uh, okay. I think the, I think the tricky part for me about just looking at this poem is um, you know, she's trying to re read their mind a little bit or the writer's mind a little bit about uh, too much extra space because that can mean anything, right? And I think some of it is just I'm annoyed about having to guess how much, you know, or, or like, you know, uh, 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 whether I have to like, you know, implement a solution to see if it's fast enough or not, or like have needs that much extra space or not. Uh, I've, eh. And I think the ye, the straightforward maybe way, uh, and there's a lot of downwards for this one, so maybe it's just some weird thing. Um, yeah, I want to say the straightforward solution is just ha using a hash table uh, or a dictionary or whatever. But um, but can we do and that uh, will take all of n space. Uh, I mean it, and in this case, however, it's all extra space, um, which is a little unfortunate, maybe. But um, but. I mean, I, I don't know how, how, you know, I don't know the constraints here, right? It doesn't tell you the constraints, so it's kind of uh, really sad to kind of have to guess these things, and I don't know. But, um, cool. Uh, and there are a couple of other things we can do if we w don't want to worry about space. Um, and some of that depends on kind of, uh, yeah, I, it, it really, a lot of this actually really just depends on what the n is, right? N being goes the number of right? because you can imagine another thing where you just, you know, uh, uh, maybe sort and then just do like a binary search or something like that. Uh, but it's not clear when you don't know the parameters of, of what you're dealing with. Um, but, uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Okay, I mean, I think I'm just going to use the hash table and then maybe take a look at what, I don't know, what the issues are. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Python is like a random dot choice or something, right? Not as familiar with uh, Python as I should possibly, but in theory, that's whether that once in time we'll see or once in space we'll see, but it should be right. Oh, whoops. Uh, oh, okay. 
coding everything on this editor, so it's always a little messy, but... Uh, Hmm. That's awkward. Oh, I guess I have to return this, not just... Yeah, okay, well... Okay, I mean, this is technically right. But we'll see if actually... Uh, okay, and it's accepted. Okay, well... Yeah, it, it, I think the problem has... Uh, it would define parameters, but I, otherwise it's very straightforward. And I did it in like five lines of code, so... Um, I think it's okay. I think um, I think for this problem there is uh, um, many possible solutions, and I think as an interview question, uh, that's what I would kind of think about uh, as an interviewer. Um, as in, uh, yeah, is it worth it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, but I think all the kind of possibilities are kind of a little bit obvious, uh, or like very kind of fundamental, like. So I, I think this is slightly a little bit on the easy side for me to uh, give as an interview problem. As, in, as an interview E, uh, this was a very straightforward problem. I think if we just knew what N is and what the constraints are, uh, then we would have just no doubt, and then we could crank it out pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's, otherwise it's pretty okay. I mean, I would not expect this to be on a uh, a more trickier.